Just one moment, sister. Oh, it's you again. May I have a word with you? Well, I guess you're the lifeguard. That's right, I am. And as the safety enforcement officer of the pool area, it's my duty to make sure that no dangerous shenanigans are going on here. I wasn't doing anything dangerous, was I? Well, let me see. You were instigating a pool-wide game involving a number of swimmers, splashing around, hiding from a swimmer with closed eyes, all the while shouting the name of a long-dead transcontinental explorer. You mean Marco Polo? Yes, that's the one. Come on, there's nothing dangerous about Marco Polo. Oh no? Suppose the person with his eyes shut wanders too far into the deep end. What if the, one of those fleeing from the blind swimmer accidentally bashes his head in the side of the pool? What if someone really truly gets lost and can't be found? Chuck, the pool's three feet deep. There's no deep end. One. Oh. And I doubt head injuries are any major concern either. As for being lost forever, how would that even happen? One can never be too sure. I would hate for someone to be lost permanently. Well, Chuck, as you know, I believe in Jesus, and Jesus is watching over all of us, and he has an eye on everyone. No one is ever lost to Jesus because he's always seeking us. So when Jesus plays Marco Polo, he plays it with his eyes open? That sounds like cheating. Marco Polo is a game. Jesus isn't playing games. He really is looking out for us and wants everyone to find him. I don't get it. Is he it, or is he one of the people that it has to find? He's God's son, and anyone who wants to can find him. Shh. We're not talking about Marco Polo anymore, are we? No, Chuck. We're talking about something way more important. Sounds very important to me. Carry on with your game, but I will be watching you, and I guess so will Jesus? Yes, he will, Chuck. Yes, he will.